Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to refactor the controller in Laravel. For that I have prepared this project. Here we have some fake posts. We have a button here to go and create a new post. And first let me check if the validation works. So here we have the title. The title field is required. Here we have a body and here we say the body content field is required. Also, we have this edit, so we can edit the post, but in the edit we have also this published here. Now in the table we have the title body and is published. Is published is zero by default. Now in the form, if I show you the form, create blade, here we have the title, input, name, title. In the text area for body, I name it this body content, not uh, body what we have here, because it's going to be very easy if I just name it body. I name it body content to show you more advanced. Uh, the same thing in the edit. Just in the edit, we have the is published also checkbox. Now in the post controller, we have this index method to show all the posts, the create to show the post create blade. Now in the store we have, we made the validation, so title, body content, and we say now post create title, this title, body, the body content, request body content. Okay. And let's see if this works first. Let's go and create a new post. So for validation, we see we have validation. Let's say new post and some fake test here. Let's create the post. And now we can see we have this new post here. The published is zero because it's zero by default. Let's go and edit this. Let's remove this one. Update. And we have this uh, Edit uh, title required. Let's remove this one and refresh again. Remove the new post and say we have the field, the title field is required, and the body content field is required. So we have the validation. Let's say now update and also let's check this published. Update the post and we can see new post update and we have the published to one. So the validation works very good. Now how we can refactor that first. Let me create the request for store and update and I'm going to create only one request. So let's go to the terminal and I'm going to say artisan make request post request enter now come here and open that post request change the authorized to be true now i'm going to copy what we have here and paste it down there now we have this post request in the store. Let's say instead of request, post request. With that, now we can remove this. And if I save and go to the browser, go to the new post. If I say create post, we have the validation. Okay. But also, I don't, I don't want only to remove that validation. Also, I want to say here, just request and validated. Now, this validated is going to add only the title and body content here. That's okay, but in the table, we have body. And in the request, we have body content. So if I come here and refresh, and if I uh, 
create new post or new post field I'm going to say let's copy and paste it down there and if I say create post we can see now we have a body content is unknown okay now how we can uh, add this one how we can make this work is very easy just in the request we can create a new protected method prepare for validation and here I'm going to merge so this I'm going to merge uh, the body so this field is what we have in the table the body with the request so this is the request the body content and also here we can say just body now if I save go back refresh and say second title let's say create a post okay I forget to add semicolons here save and test one more time second post create a post we have the second post here okay now let's work with validation here we make we create the post we just have now only one line of code let's do the same thing in the update let's add here the post request and we need to remove the validation we don't need that but now here we have update and we have title body also we have this is published how we can do that is very easy remove this and say update this validated sorry not this but the request validated plus this one okay if i save now and go and try so go to the second post edit post updated and say published here update the post we have the updated and also we have one here let's see for the validation update the field details field is required update we need to change the error name for a body because here we say body content so we need to say error for body save it and also here error for body okay because in the post request we just say here body now let's come here and refresh update we have body field is required last one last post copy paste and we created now last post let's go and update let's remove this one update the post we have body field is required update and it's working okay friends that is how we can uh, refactor the controller with request and work with uh, prepare for validation now you, maybe you have more than one field and you can do something like this okay hope you enjoy and see you in the next video friends all the best